Derby, is this the best Mexican in your city? We're here at Amigo. Being brought to our attention by their amazing Instagram page and the reviews as well saying this is an incredible spot to get some mint Mexican food. Either takeaway or we're gonna sit in today. Do you think they'll let me wear a hat? Who knows? Uh, what we're gonna go for is the enchiladas and I think we're gonna go for a nice a big portion of the nachos. So let's go eat some Mexican food. Get our vibe on Chris. It is Joe, your another correspondent for Food Review Club. Let's go. So we've come inside to Amigos to have a little look at the menu. We think we know what we want. We're gonna go with the wonderful beef enchiladas. Beef's a big seller, yeah? Beef is good. Beef enchiladas are good? Beef is, yeah. That's the one. <laughs> and then we're also gonna have a look at the nachos, because I love nachos, Chris loves nachos. We're gonna get the special nachos in the middle, all pile into what is one of Derby's finest Mexican spots. Okay. Right. Special nachos. Oh, look at this. Special Nachos, take a look at that. And what is this Isn't bad boy? Oh, oh, oh my days. This looks incredible. Thank you Thank very much. What's your name, sorry? Uh, Denise. Denise? Yes. This looks amazing, Denise. What's your name? Joe. Joe, nice to meet you. Denise and Joe. Man. The the dream Joe. team. The dream <laughs> team. <laughs> One of the things when we do these reviews is always about the smells that we're instantly met with. And unfortunately at home you can't smell it. But what we can smell here is fresh quality Mexican food. We can smell unbelievable melted cheese because the enchiladas are here. They're looking amazing. It comes with brilliant Mexican rice. Lovely salad there. Moving on over to what looks like it might be my favorite dish of the day. These incredible nachos that are called, if we can get it right, the Amigo Special. Chris, Mexican food, Food Review Club. Sometimes it can be one of the cuisines that we don't dive into as much. But this looks like a perfect spot. Amigos, I spoke to someone in the back there, been going for about five plus years, really kicked on during COVID time when people started to venture out. And these were the only, one of the only people around here open, tried to try their food more and more. So nachos are gonna be a bit messy. Look at this. So in the Amigo style nachos, look, it's trying to get away from me. You got the beef. That was awful, mate. Every time, look at these. Oh, look at that. Look how packed they are. Filled with nachos. One of my pet peeves in life, Chris, is when you get nachos from a restaurant and the first layer is filled with filling and then there's nothing underneath at all. These are really hot, so I can't pick up my fingers. So I'm just gonna do a little dive in. Oh, look at that cheese pull there. As you can see, a lot going on. I was gonna pick them up, but they're dead hot, so I'm just gonna spoon it in. Is that, is that allowed? Let's try and get a little bite of everything, if I can. Here we go, making a meal of this. Oh, wow. Oh. Here we go, those signature chicken chunks with the beautiful crispy, to crispy nachos there. Look at that bite of food. Piping up, fresh flavors. Wow. Oh. Denise knows what he's doing. I can tell. Bags of flavor packed inside them. Absolutely phenomenal. Lovely fresh jalapenos. Beautiful chicken chunks. I'm sorry I'm not using my fingers. These have literally come from the ovens. And as you can probably tell, it's boiling up. Beautiful nacho. Found a real nice one there. It's got everything on it that makes it so special. Spot on. Now, the enchiladas. Look at this, great value for money. This is nine quid. I'm gonna sort of half an enchilada here. Beautiful melted cheese. Let's just try this rice. Mexican rice. That's not. Just rice. Just rice. Just rice. But this is the start of the show. Now, how do you go about these? Oh wow. Let's get 
a big spoon of them. Oh, again, look at that beautiful filling inside there. Wow, Chris. Packed full of the beef con carne. It's very chunky onions in there that have been slowly sort of cut away. The wrap has been toasted and cut to perfection. You'd only get a spoon and a knife, I guess. That's because they've got no forks. Let's have a little dive into this. First thing I'll say, that is fresh. And it took me tongue off. Beautiful flavours going in there. I love how the wrap is soaking up all the juices. And that beautiful melted cheese on top. Let's go for another blow. Mmm. Wow. What's a real winner for me is just how chunky the onions are, how chunky the peppers are, and how chunky the beef portion is. She really got an unbelievable mixture of all the flavours that you want. Oh, there you go. This is nice stuff. This is good gig, this Chris. Oh. So hot, so fresh. Sounded like a song then, didn't it? So hot, fresh. Let's have a little mix in here. A little bit of rice. Oh. That's where the rice comes into its own. That is beautiful. Fresh salad on the side. You know what I mean? Matt's on his health kick now, so might I be. Olives, green kidney beans. Lettuce. Oh, really nice salad. Really lovely pack. Let me just demolish one of these. That, the, the, the wrap, the tortilla, which is there. The beautiful cheese blend on top. Honestly. Well, I've got to say the flavour that's packed in there as well. It's out of this world. Another nacho. Yeah. Wow. Out of the two. One of my favourite. Nachos were my favourite. I just like the crunch element to the flavours. Amazing cheese blend. Beautiful sauce. Chunky chicken, chunky beef. Nachos were definitely a winner. 8.7. This is really good. I can't remember. Homemade guac. The homemade guacamole. Let's get a little bit in there. today. Right then, that gets a 9.2. Beautiful. That was an 8.5. I've changed 8.5. This is going to be, for the price, for the film, 8. Really good standard of food there. And you will leave full crisp. Right then, this has been Food Review Club. Derby, we are so happy to be in your city and your Mexican food has not let us down. Make sure you let us know where we should be hitting up and I've got to give a massive shout out to that guacamole. The best I've ever had. I've been Joe from Food Review Club. I'll see you in a bit. See us big daddy B, pugs and met on a mission To find who's got the fastest, freshest food in the kitchen Different places, different flavours, try different things Who's the ruler of ribs? Where's the winner of wings? Who's the king of kebabs? Where's the boss of the bag?